I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, about something you may want to be aware of. Uh, there is an affliction, especially in the southeast United States, called the Alpha-Gal Syndrome. It, uh, alpha galactose is a sugar found in most mammals, not humans, but a lot of animals, deer, cows, pigs, uh, such as that. I want to read you something. This is right off of the Mayo Clinic website. This is an overview. Alpha-Gal syndrome is a recently identified this, this is a little old because this has been identified for about 10, 12 years now. But alpha-gal syndrome is a recently identified type of food allergy to red meat and other products made from mammals. In the United States, the condition is most often caused by a lone star tick bite. The bite transmits a sugar molecule called alpha-galactose into the person's body. In some people, this triggers an immune system reaction that later produces mild to severe allergic reactions to red meat, such as beef, pork, or lamb, or other mammal products. This is for you folks across the water overseas. Alpha-gal syndrome also has been diagnosed in Europe, Australia and Asia, where other types of ticks may carry the alpha-gal molecule. So you want to be aware over there too, just because you don't live right here in the southeastern United States doesn't mean you're immune to this, this affliction, and it's terrible, I can tell you. Here are some of the symptoms, and some of you may have these symptoms and not know what's wrong with you. Here are some symptoms. Hives, itching or itchy scaly skin. Swelling of the lips, face, tongue and throat or other body parts. Wheezing or shortness of breath, a runny nose, stomach pain, diarrhea, nausea or vomiting. vomiting. Sneezing, headaches and a severe, potentially deadly allergic reaction that restricts breathing, anaphylaxis. If you're unfortunate enough to get this affliction, usually after you eat some red meat, the symptoms don't start until three to six hours later. I think this is the only foodborne allergy that they know of that, ta that, that has a delayed reaction. All other foodborne allergies happen pretty quickly. But this one, three to six hours later, so you can eat, you can eat a steak for supper at six o'clock, and then uh, 11, 12 o'clock that night, wake up with hives on your body, spreading, getting bad. In 1990, for a year from 19, the whole year of 1990 into 1991, many times that year, sometimes it would happen in, in, during the day. Some, a lot of times it was in the night, uh, midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. I would wake up with hives all over me, just just miserable. Went to the emergency room two or three times that year, uh, not knowing what was wrong. And I went to allergists and skin doctors. They had no clue. Well, way back then, nobody had a clue about this, this affliction. Uh, I don't know what year it was, but two doctors from the University of Virginia finally figured out this disease. Cancer patients in the southeastern United States were getting anaphylactic type symptoms or, or hives or, or, or symptoms like that. Uh, after, after they got a specific, specific cancer drug, well, these doctors got to looking at this, and they finally figured out the common denominator with all these people were they had all been bitten by a tick. So they discovered and they went on to research, and, and now there's a lot of information on the, on the uh, Internet about it. 
There's no cure for this. The only cure is uh, not to eat red meat. And I can tell you, if you can't eat pork or beef or deer meat or lamb or any red meat, chicken and seafood gets pretty old. I, I, I can attest because I've had this four times now. First time, like I said, 1990. In, in uh, 2009, we moved from where we lived to a place close to where we live right now, on the same road, but, but not the same house. That year, I got bit on a leg by a tick in my yard. A lot of deer there, so there was a lot of ticks there. Got a, got a tick on my leg, and the all of a sudden, the hives were back on me. After all those years, there it was again. Now, I didn't know what was wrong. I had no idea that the tick bite had caused this. And I was waking up in the middle of the night, sick, with hives all over me. I mean, miserable torment. And uh, I, I, would, I would think, what, what did I have to eat last night? Well, I, I ruled out black pepper, tomatoes, uh, everything. The last thing that uh, I would have thought of was meat, that it was caused by meat. Well, not long after that, we moved down the road to where we live now, and I got two more tick bites on my leg out of the yard. Well, now the symptoms got worse. I would wake up and the, the hives would be, I, I can't explain to you how bad the hives would be. And then it, it, every, it seemed like every time it was getting worse and worse. And then I got a, had an anaphylactic uh, event. Uh, my hands were swollen up like balloons. And, and the, the hives, my feet were swollen up. The next day I was so sick. I would take, uh, when, when the, when the uh, uh, symptoms were coming on, when I wake up in the night and they were coming on, I would take Benadryl. And that would help a little bit. But then I had a really bad event. Uh, should have went to the hospital, but I refused to go. It, it, was, it was bad. I passed out twice. Uncontrollable shakes, terrible, terrible diarrhea, throwing up. It, it, was, it was bad. And my daughter is a master's degree occupational therapist. So after that terrible, really bad event, she got on the internet searching and she come across this alpha galactose red meat allergy deal. And so it clicked. Well, that, that, that may be it. That might be what's, what's wrong with me. So I quit eating red meat. Sure enough, didn't have any more symptoms. I went for two and a half years without eating any red meat except pork. Now, I could eat pork at that time. Weird as that sounds, I could not eat beef or deer meat, but I could eat all the pork that I wanted. didn't bother me. After two and a half years, I tried a little bit of steak. Nothing happened. And I tried a little bit more. A couple of days later, nothing happened. And it, it seemed to be over. So, boy, I was happy. So, uh, that rocked on for, well, until last October. Uh, last October, de opening of deer season. I got a, something bit me on my side right here, over here in this part of the world where I'm at right now. Now, I didn't see what it was because I absentmindedly scratched it. But I know now it was a little tick. I know it because two or three days later, my symptoms were back. Well, I gave it six months and then tried a little red meat, and I was fine. Oh, only, uh, let, me, let me say this. This past time, I couldn't eat pork either this time. Couldn't eat deer meat, beef, or pork. So, six months later, I tried some, and I was good. And this was like last, uh, well, May. It was in May when I discovered that I could eat whatever I wanted to again. Well, guess what? If you watched my previous videos, the, the post-COVID camp that I did, I got two little small ticks on me right here. And guess what? My symptoms are back again. You, you cannot imagine how depressed I have been because all of a sudden I can't eat beef, deer meat, or bacon, or pork again. 
So I'm going to give this another month and I'm going to try it again. Now some people who, who uh, have this affliction, they've gone for years and years and years and, and, and just never got over it. Some people, it'll last just a little while and they get over it. Me, I've gotten over it three times. This is my fourth trip, so I'm going to give it another month and try again. But I just wanted to make this video. Some people, some of you, who are having these symptoms that I just described may have this and not know what's wrong with you. You may be going to the doctor and they may not know what's wrong with you. So if you, it happens again, you go to the doctor, you tell them to run an alpha-gal t uh, test on you and that may be what, what the deal is. But anyway, I hope, I hope none of you watching has this. If you do, I hope it get, goes away from you very quickly. And uh, anyway, that's my situation right now. If I kill a deer over here hunting this weekend, I can't eat any of it. But maybe in a month or so I can.